a rare set of fossilized footprints has revealed that a human being could outrun a T-Rex as long as it's a young T-Rex taking a stroll through muddy ground. Research on the rare Wyoming discovery has determined that the Tyrannosaur was traveling roughly 2.8 to 5 miles per hour, slower than an average human runs. But, the researchers warn that these footprints aren't nearly representative of a T-Rex's peak speed. The tracks were found at the site of a 66-million-year-old rock formation along an ancient shoreline in modern Wyoming, according to science. Finding fossilized footprints is a rare feat, finding a set of footprints, known as a trackway, is even more uncommon. Using the three footprints, the first of which is well-preserved, the researchers were able to identify the dinosaur as a meat-eating theropod dinosaur, according to Scott Persons, a vertebrate paleontologist at the University of Alberta, Edmonton in Canada, and lead author of the new study. Based on the 47-centimeter width, along with the three forward-facing toes and the one rear-facing, thumb-like toe of the first print, the team determined it came from a tyrannosaur either an adolescent T-Rex, or a nanotyrannus lancensis, which some have suggested is just a young T-Rex. The team then calculated the traveling speed of these footprints. To do this, the researchers estimated the dinosaur's hip height based on the length of the footprint and two common formulas, revealing that the hips were between 1.56 and 2.06 meters above the ground. By measuring the distance between the prints and calculating the speed using an equation for two-legged walking creatures, the researchers determined it was moving at a brisk walking speed, between 2.8 and 5 miles per hour, according to science. As the average human can run about 11 miles per hour over a short distance, the Huffington Post writes, the dinosaur moving at this pace would be slower than a person. But, the research indicates that this doesn't suggest that this is the fastest a T-Rex can move. The footprints only represent a single event, and one in which the dinosaur was likely traveling through the wet, sloppy sediment that best preserves such fossils, Thomas Holds Jr., a vertebrate paleontologist at the University of Maryland, College Park, told Science. Scott Persons told the Huffington Post that the tyrannosaur that made the footprints was just walking, and it was walking over muddy, mucky ground. And it was clearly a walk and not a run because of how the feet were positioned. The decades-old debate over the T-Rex's top speed has resulted in a wide bracket of predictions, but no conclusion some have suggested that the dinosaur could only manage 10 miles per hour, while others have estimated 45 miles per hour. Still, if given the opportunity to challenge a T-Rex to a head-to-head -head race, you might not want to test your odds. If you were out walking a juvenile T-Rex, you'd be comfortable at a brisk walk, Eric Snively, a vertebrate paleontologist at the University of Wisconsin, La Crosse, told Science. If you were walking an adult, you'd be jogging.